escaping the Isle of Ely with the relic. I was terrified. I was raised on a farm, then sent to the monastic school. So I had never seen anything else, nor been anything else. And suddenly, I carried the weight of the souls of all my brothers and sisters in Christ, who had sacrificed themselves so that I might live to protect their sacred relic. It was unbearable. So when I was at my most weak and weary, I turned to my Lord and, as promised, he gave me rest. For that, I will be grateful to the end of my days. Brother Elrich, I have need of you. Of course, my king. I serve at your command. Then follow me at once. I apologize for my coming unannounced, but you will understand I needed this matter to remain discreet. Please, no apologies are necessary. You see, time is of the essence, Elrich. I'm at war. At war with the Danes, yes, but also with the nobles of my realm. Surely you would not go to war against our fellows? Not anymore. It is a political war I speak of. A war of the minds. And stubborn ones at that. We have no shortage of stubbornness within the church as well. These nobles refuse to understand that we must be united if we are to remain victorious over the Danes. And a united front means one person must speak for the many. But they see it as a grab for power. As if giving me the upper hand means undermining their authority. All I do, I do only for the survival of our land. Our people. For the kingdoms. Whether it be Wessex, Northumbria, Mercia, even East Anglia. Our faith and our values are the same. It is not me you must convince, my king. Without you, we would already be a faded memory overridden by the heathen's bloodshed. It's our victory over Guthrum and the other Danes has given the Witten misplaced confidence. I cannot let their arrogance be our downfall. We need to be prepared for the next attack and all the ones to come. What role could I play in convincing them? You attended my court for many years. You know my heart. And I know you are loyal to our Lord above all others, as do they. They will not listen to me, but they cannot doubt our Lord's will. We need the bishop. Convince him to speak in my favor of the wit. The other lords will have no choice but to approve my requests. I am certain God will aid me in this endeavor. Bishop Dainerhof. Did he take Tundjort's old residence? Of course. You haven't been here since the reconstruction began. I'll lead you. This city is a superb example of the burrs I want to build all over Wessex, and eventually all across the land. With strongholds like Winchester no more than a day's ride from every village, the common people will be protected. I've always loved these ruins. They're a perfect reminder of how any great nation will crumble when its people are divided. Yet some of the city's walls are built on top of Roman laid stone. You have a sharp eye, Elrich. You see, the heathens are less likely to notice our fortifications if the walls we build them on have been there all along. Yes. Totitariat in motis super frontis biborium, pletus digetus sit, et multi benedicien. It's King Alfred. King Alfred in our street. Welcome. Oh, welcome, Lord. There he is. Think I can ask his highness to fix up my outhouse? You better watch your mouth if you don't want his guards to knock you over. <laughs> I do that well enough on my own. I take infinite pride in our minster. The first church of my kingdom. It's stunning. Though I admit, my heart yearns more for the simple comfort of your private sanctuary at Chippen. They serve different purposes. As the heart of the Diocese of Winchester, this church must welcome all who seek our Lord. I hope to expand it one day. But my priorities lie elsewhere for now.
What is it, child? My mum is ill. Oh. She won't get to... Please! Oh, please, help her! Take me to her. She's at the infirmary. I told her. I said, Mum, you're burning up. But she didn't want to leave the house. So I took her hand and we walked to see the sisters. But they say there's nothing they can do. Then I saw you and I knew you could help. You're the king. My mum's told me you're close to God. You are closer than me. According to the very words spoken by our Lord. I never... It's a man. It's the king. Have I died, Lord? King Alfred's come to help us. Bless the Lord. We are saved. Elrich, in your days as a healer, have you seen this type of ailment before? I would have to take a closer look, but I trust our sisters can provide the best care for her. My king? Am I dreaming? Shh. Save your strength. Oh, I... I can feel myself drifting away. I will see that your daughter is well taken care of, should the need arise. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. 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 Thank you, my king. Thank you. <laughs> You are a good king. I try to be there for my people. I cannot bear watching more innocent souls perish. I've built walls and bridges. I've seen my vision come to life. And yet we are still in harm's way. That's why I need the Witten's approval. We must build as many burrs, our strongholds, as necessary, spread across the land. With each of these strongholds overseen by trained men, able to protect us when the time comes. You've thought this through. I have. And yet I am being stifled by the very men supposed to support me. Thanks to our mills, I can ensure my people aren't out of bread. That is, only if I keep away from the loaves. I'm more fit to rule than to bake, I'm afraid. We've reached the bishop's residence. This is where I leave you. The nobles are waiting for me at the Witten Hall. I'm counting on you, Elrich. I will get his approval, my lord. Our future depends on it. Brother, I'm looking for the bishop. What for? It is a subject I need to discuss with the bishop alone, at once. Suit yourself. He's over there reading the day's missives. Father, your king needs you. It is customary for people to introduce themselves, young man. I'm Brother Elrich of Runquda Abbey. 
You saved our precious relic from the Isle of Ely. I... Yes. Yes, I did. It was such a long time ago. Yet here you stand. What brings you to Winchester? King Alfred seeks the Lord's support to implement his laws with the nobles. Far be it for any man to speak in the name of the Lord. What are these laws King Alfred is pushing? If he is to protect Wessex against the heathen threat, King Alfred needs the lords to trust his strategies to ensure we will withstand other attacks. What kind of strategies? He wants to extend the stronghold system he began with Winchester. He sees these burrs as the best answer against the heathen attacks, a way for every man and woman in the land to seek refuge. But how can I be sure that I will be helping our Lord and not merely supporting one man's pride? King Alfred is a man of God. He wishes to unite the kingdoms through common faith in our Lord. I can't deny that having a pious man at the helm of our kingdom has helped us spread the good word indeed. You have made a convincing case, brother. I believe Alfred is genuine in his intentions. I will discuss this matter with my brothers and come to a decision. My fellow good men, please heed my words. What more can you possibly have to say? We won the war. Let us lick our wounds and go home to our wives. We've won a single battle by the skin of our teeth. We must be ready when the heathens come back, because they will. What if we just pay them to leave? Paying the Danes tribute will only encourage them to stay and ask for more. Can't you see? I'm proposing a system that will allow us to be protected at all times. An army year round. Not just for my kingdom's sake, but for all of our sakes. Oh, your ambitions are very clear, Lord Elfrid. Indeed. And we trust you to lead our men. This is preposterous. Have I not earned your trust? My king, Bishop Danevolf wishes to speak. Bishop, please. I have come to voice the Church's support. Our Lord's will is in alignment with Alfred's intentions. If you are men of faith, you will give your assent. Noble men, what say you? Despite my doubts, I will not go against our Lord's wishes. You have my support. And ours as well. Now. Let it be known that the Witten agreed. To prove my good faith, allow me to demonstrate the efficacy of my strongholds. Please follow me. What have you got in mind? I'll take them to the beacon. When my watchmen respond, they will see that this system works. Elrich, I am immensely grateful for what you've done for me today. Of course. I am honored you chose me. Tell me, how could I ever repay my gratitude? Well, I must admit, I feel like my purpose is elsewhere. What do you mean? I've lived with Norsemen. I've built bonds with them. Seeing Adelson, Guthrum, baptized, showed me my true wish. I understand their ways. They're thinking. The Danes are not ultimately lost, my lord. We can still save them, convert them. But I can't do it from Runkwood Abbey. Your devotion is inspiring. I'll see to it that you be relocated to another minster, Elrich. I have just the one in mind. Thank you, my lord.
shall go. I can't! You can't! It's beneath you! If I won't do it myself, then I cannot expect my people to. May this light be the symbol of a new beginning. The people will rise and take back the land that is rightfully theirs. Oh. 